The following kind of contains spoilers, so proceed with caution. We're going to talk about Robert Pattinson as Batman. We're going to keep the flame, the wings going. Robert Pattinson, Batman. Let's just rank our Batman, Andrew. Let's rank them all. We will, we're going to leave Adam West out of the discussion. Adam West mm-hmm. is the quintessential Batman. He's number one in all of our lists, but it's not fair to put him in this list because I don't think he would rank. But where where would you put Robert Pattinson in your list of all time favorite Batman? Well, for live all, a- live action. Let's go live live action. action yeah. Um, I don't know if you were thinking the same thing at the theater, but Pattinson's mask. There's something uh, like a ridge over his eyes that looks like eyebrows. So his mask reminded same, yes. me a lot of Adam West. Yeah. Yeah. No, but that's the thing. This movie had a lot of nods to the 60s show. Like, <laughs> not like in your face, but like little, little bits, little details that they took. And like I said, they made, they're like, if you're 10, then this is how that would be when you're 50, 40, like that. That's how I felt. Well, mm-hmm. not, but I did notice that that, would, that hit me in the theater as well. Oh boy! All right, where does Robert Pattinson fall? <sighs> I, I'm gonna say I'll let you think about it. And I'll give my my thing right now. I'm gonna go Clooney on the bottom of the barrel. Unfortunately, I think I do think he is actually Bruce Wayne, though. To be yes. honest. Um, now this is the problem. If we're going with just Batman, my list might change because I really like Val Kilmer's Batman. I'm a huge Val Kilmer Batman fan, not a massive Val Kilmer Bruce Wayne fan, but Val, Val Kilmer Batman. I really like, I'm going to go Clooney and then above Clooney will be Bale. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's right. I'm not really his raspy voice. Sometimes I can take it. Sometimes I'm just not in the mood for it. on top of that. I'm going to go, uh, Kilmer. Keaton, Pattinson, Batfleck. That's a good ranking. I like Here's that. The th- this is the thing, though, is we've had one movie with Pattinson and I've had one screening. And his Batman act is really fantastic. He's like a fantastic Batman to me. His Bruce Wayne is what's going to divide a lot of people, I think. And it's mm-hmm. and it's not his performance as Bruce Wayne. It's the character that he's portraying as Bruce Wayne. Whereas, like, for me, Val Kilmer, I didn't think he portrayed Bruce Wayne like his performance as Bruce Wayne wasn't top notch for me. Whereas Pattinson, his performance was amazing as Bruce Wayne, but was the character of the Bruce Wayne that I wanted. But, but he's my number two Batman right now. I just think he's, he's phenomenal. And while you're still thinking, Andrew, they have been doing polls all across the United States of America for your favorite Batman. And Ben Affleck has actually been edging out Michael Keaton on most of those polls as their favorite Batman. Nice. Um, well, I think so. I thought he was a great Batman. I know people are like, he didn't get a solo movie. He deserves it. He got, he, he was in two mo- two movies, or, well, I guess Suicide Squad. He was, he got a fair shake as Batman in, in Batman v Superman. And I really liked what I got there. And I'm one of the few people that love that movie. So that's my ranking. Also, everybody watching, let us know your ranking. Because now, Andrew, I've had it. You've had enough time to think about it. Give me your Batfleck rankings. Okay, Batfleck. my Batfleck rankings. Batfleck, Batfleck, Batfleck. <laughs> Uh, wow. Okay. So I'm going Clooney on the bottom too. Uh, movie is fun, but he's just, he's not a bad man for me. Um, next I'm going Kilmer. That, that movie's fun. Uh, yeah, I'm going Kilmer next only because I've only seen Batman forever one time. Uh, so, and every time I think of that movie, all I can think of is Jim Carrey as the Riddler. Like I can't even picture what Kilmer's bat suit looks like. It's completely blank for me. Um, if I remember right, I think it's the logo is all black with the circle around it. It's basically the yellow Keaton yeah. symbol, but all black. Yeah, right? they, that's when they started to get rid of color off the bad suits. Yeah. Um, so Kilmer Batman, I I can't I couldn't quote one line of his. Like he's completely off my chart. Tell me, um, do you like the circus? Is that what he says? He says that he to says Chase that, Meridian. Yeah, but he says it as Bruce Wayne. Anyway, go on. Okay. Um, Next, Bale. Um, he was a near perfect Bruce Wayne. I think he looks like Bruce Wayne, like yeah. the, as if the like the '90s cartoon came to life. That's that's Christian Bale. Yes. Um, but his Batman was a not on screen a lot, and those are not short movies. Uh, they're yeah. like so he does not get a whole lot of time in there. And you know when he's on screen, it's kind of silly. Oh, he sounds. So he's he's not quite there for me. 
Now this is the tricky part. This is the tricky part because I yeah, think... this, this is hard because it's, you yeah. know, you've had one that's been your Batman since you were two years old. I know. Then there's another one who kind of came in last minute and kind of did a great job, but didn't really get the recognition of the part they needed. And then you got one that you've just watched right? mm-hmm. <laughs> like once it's, it's tricky. I think I'm going just based off of the, the arcs that they have and the personalities they bring to the table and everything. I think I'm going to go in this case and it's close. It's very close again. <sighs> Affleck, Keaton, Patterson, but it's like I, I feel like a I, like a slight breeze could change that. You know what I mean? It's it. Uh, Pattinson's Batman is closer to Keaton's Batman. Mm-hmm. Affleck's Batman is a completely different, like on a completely different level. Like there's so I'm kind of glad that this is the Batman that we got after the Ben Affleck Batman because it's so different from the Ben Affleck Batman. Yeah, like Ben Affleck's Batman is superhero Batman. This one's Detective Batman, and Keaton's isn't really Detective, but he's 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 more similar to this one than this than they are to the Ben Affleck one. So it's it's. Would you watch a Ben Affleck solo Batman? Oh, 100 percent. Uh, yeah, of course. I and I think we have to also take into account something Pattinson did really well is that the Nolan trilogy is supposed, especially, you know, the first one, Batman Begins, it's right there in the title, is about the Bruce Wayne becoming Batman story. But he felt like the same guy with the same knowledge in part one that he did in part three. Whereas with Pattinson, I really feel way more that this is a young Batman who is still starting out and doesn't quite he's not quite as sure of himself and is not quite as confident as we know Batman eventually will be. Right. Like I feel like in Batman begins, he has the same level of of confidence and skill that he has in the dark Knight rises, except now he can climb out of a well at the end. Um, The Pattinson though, feels like there's a lot more room to grow. So that makes his Batman more interesting to me. It's just funny how, you know, Batman begins was like touted as like, he's young Batman. He's starting out. He's fresh. He's new. This feels more fresh and young and new and an experience than that one did. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, he's yeah, he's really trying to figure out which is why I think it's great that the Joker's already in prison mm-hmm. or in Arkham, because the Joker would be the bad guy that you I mean the Dark Knight the Dark Knight version aside, the Joker's like like you say he's like, I have a bomb, come and get me. Like that's the and this version of the Joker, according to Reeves, isn't quite the Joker yet. So he doesn't he hasn't even figured it out yet himself, but he's just like, I'm crazy and people I'm hideous and stuff like that. So he's kind of doing it. And I think that's the perfect reason why he could already be put aside and Batman would have got him already. That's like low tier villainy right there. And the Riddler's like top tier. And he's like, I'm going to up your ante, but his smarts get to him. And, and that's what it, it's, it's great. It's great to see the arcs of the, the Batman that we've got. And Keaton's didn't have too much of an arc though. They weren't really concerned with, with that. I find the um, Batman movies until like now, they haven't really cared about Batman. Mm-hmm. Like Batman has just kind of been like secondary to Bruce, like you said, to Bruce Wayne, especially the Nolan ones, right? Like, it, like even, and we talked about this on the spoiler, I think the spoiler or the non-spoiler review, which I can't remember which one, but we talked about how when Ben Affleck was cast as Batman, they asked Matt Damon and Matt Damon said, well, the acting is Bruce Wayne. You don't have to act as Batman. And Robert Pattinson acted the hell out of Batman. He was a bad... He, you know what? I'm going to change my list because his acting was phenomenal. His eye acting that he did yes. was like, that was the best. Like he didn't say anything. He just like, look and, and you're like, Oh, I see what's going on here. And he just, he had this, like his walk was like, he walked so upright and like he took his steps carefully and like you, it almost felt like he knew he was in over his head, but he also knew how to get out of it. That's how I kind of felt the whole time watching him. Um, and, and I love that this movie made Batman the lead. Like they thank, yes. thank you for making Batman the lead. And his character had a character arc. His character, like, and I and I do think Ben Affleck's uh Batman had a character arc, but, but it's it's such in like all the other characters that it's kind of like it's not the main focus. But his character obviously through Batman v Superman, he learns to become the hero once again. And this one is the story about him first be like we said earlier, like the vengeance, and now it's it's the the symbol of hope and just 
great stuff. And in the comics too, we, we can't forget, and even in the cartoons, Batman is written differently when he's a part of the Justice League as opposed yeah. to when it's a Batman story. Uh, there's just something different about the way he acts. He's around these other people. Uh, he he gets quieter. Like it, it's it's almost like two different characters in a way uh, compared to just a bare bones Batman story. So that's what Batfleck gave us. He gave us that version of Batman, the version who's playing on this team. He's just one of the Beatles. He's got to sing in harmony with everybody else. Uh, so it's to compare him. It's you almost have to put an asterisk next to him because of that. Yeah, absolutely. And George Clooney had a bad credit card. So once again, he is actually the best Batman because he had a credit score. He's the richest Bruce Wayne. He is. <laughs> there you go. 